Welcome back! In the last section, we spent some time trying different user interface elements that may be useful in a lot of situations. Here we are now at the last section of this video course on building a responsive site with Zerp Foundation. You have learned about all the major features and tools available on Foundation, with the help of which you have created a nice prototype for a photography website. Real world, however, is quite different from prototypes. In this section, I'd like to give you some hints on how to move from design to production, as well as suggesting some useful resources that may help working with Foundation. Then, finally, try to more widely argument on where to go next. Today, I'd like to show you the real power of SAS variables to customize every aspect of the look and feel of Foundation in order to be able to create custom themes. In fact, without a proper customization, all the website will look quite similar with the default Foundation theme. While this may be acceptable when mocking up, it surely won't fit well in production. If you give a look to the settings file in your SCSS directory, you will find a huge amount of commented lines. Those are the default values for about every aspect of the look and feel of Foundation theme. If you really want to personalize your website, sooner or later you will end up editing those SAS variables. In fact, before trying to implement some custom style rules, you should check if the same effect may be achieved editing the settings file, as it will probably be a safer approach. Now, just to get our hands dirty, let's try to mess up some variables. Just change some colors and fonts to give it a try. As you can see, the document is divided in sections, and all the variables' names are quite self-explanatory. This way, all the editing is as simple as just changing some values, and we do not have to deal with complicated CSS selectors. Now, as you save the file, Grant will compile it, and your website will immediately reflect your changes. Today, you've discovered how to customize the foundation look and feel, thanks to the powerful SAS variables it kindly provides us. In the next video, we'll go a bit more theoretical to discuss how to try to optimize our websites to make them ready for a production environment. Thanks for watching!